Hey, listen, hold on. Guys, give this guy a round of applause. All right, all right, all right. That's my boy. Okay. I so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, clap the room. I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills, do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. Some people always say they gotta talk to their wife, right? There's probably a good chance that you said, hey, if I could get the deal right, would you be happy to take it home? Guy's like, sure, I kinda still need to run it by my wife, but I would like to see what the deal looks like. Are we gonna say to that guy, well, go get your wife, then come back, and then we'll show you the numbers? Or are we gonna say, well, hey, yeah, let's go have a seat, and let's figure out how far we can take this deal? I mean, our goal is when you got somebody in front of you, you gotta buy her, you gotta go. If you're that idiot that's like, well, I can't show you numbers without your wife being here. Hey, goodbye, they're gonna come by from me across the street, and I'm gonna handle the deal. I know one thing for sure, his wife probably really don't like car dealerships or big truck sales or whatever the hell it is you're selling or RVs. That's why they're not there. If it meant so much to that person, they probably would be there. Okay, so let's just kind of dumb it down. Let's have some fun. We're inside, price, trade, payment. You show me the deal. I look at it. I say, hey man, the deal looks great. Um, I just need to talk to my wife. Okay, awesome. Why don't we just bring her over here? I'll pick her up in the vehicle. Oh no, we're good. We'll go home and talk about it. Whistle. You guys are learning. I'm gonna hit you with it, all right? Is that cool? Hey, appreciate you. Thanks for all the numbers. Look, they look great. I'm gonna talk to my wife. So I know last night when you guys were probably watching that place, y'all talked about coming into the dealership. Is it numbers? Is it a vehicle you wanna to talk to her about? If not, we can just go right outside this little video. Me and you send it right to your wife. Cool. Yeah, no, I really appreciate that. Look, yeah, and she did see the vehicle on the internet, so that's great. We did talk about it. But I told her after I saw the numbers, we'd kind of go home and talk about it, and then, you know, we'd make a decision. Okay, did she tell you the number? A number? Yeah, well, she said the deal would need to look right. Okay, so what's looking right? Like, what makes the deal for you and your wife? I'm pretty sure y'all went over it last night. Something, y'all ironed out the budget, you looked at the bills you gotta pay. What fits into your budget? How can I make the deal just to speed it up? I know you don't wanna bring your wife here with all these guys around. Yeah, no, we're not. Uh, she's, uh, she's good. I, I, I don't see any hot guys around here, so I'm not worried about bringing them. But I, I would say, look, I really appreciate that. And by the way, listen, I know you're just doing your job, but I feel like this is something me and her really need to talk about so that we make a good decision. Pretty sure your wife's anything like my wife, she know you make good decisions, she wouldn't marry you. Yeah, no, she is. But, if you're, but, but in the end, if your wife's anything like my wife, if I buy something without getting her involved, you know, to that next level, I won't have a wife. You know what I mean, right? You know, to say happy wife, happy life. So That's let's why just, I wanted to talk to her. Let's get her on FaceTime. Let's do a video. Let's do something cool. How did you propose to her? Okay, hey, listen, hold on. Guys, give this guy a round of applause. All right, all right, all right. That's my boy. Okay. Hey guys, sorry to interrupt the video. Right now is the time to take yourself to a whole new level. Listen, the market is gonna demand you to get more skill right now than you've ever needed to have. And if you do, not only will you become great, but you're gonna make more money than you ever imagined. I would love to talk to you. Tell me what you need help with. Text me right now. If you see on the screen, my cell phone number is 918 210 0254. Let me say that again, 918-210-0254. Shoot me a text message. Tell me what you need help with. I'll reach out and call you. Let's take you to the next level. Let's get back to the video. Hey, hey did you guys see this? Was he a little bit nervous in the beginning? Yeah, but guess what? Did it sound nervous when he was speaking? No, he did a good job, man. Listen, and by the way, I wanna explain this, okay? There's three types of salespeople. Good, great, and unstoppable. Did you notice how I kept hitting him, okay? You remember Rocky, round 11, he came back and won, right? I mean, he was beat to a pulp, but he didn't stay down for the 10 count, got up. That's what a good salesperson will do. They'll understand that, look, obviously this person's here. They are here for a reason, okay? They've got a, they've got a scratch, or they've got an itch. It's my job to scratch it. It's my job to make this deal work out. I am almost 100% certain if they leave, they are not returned. Okay, I have a captive buyer here. I have half of the captive party. But if he leaves, I have zero of the captive party. And then I'm expecting two of them to come back. I assure you, there is a way to work out any and every situation. Does that make sense? There is a way to work it out. How do you work it out? Number one, you have to be a master communicator. I want you to understand what being a master communicator is. It's how to become unstoppable. What the definition to me is of what a master communicator is, is somebody that makes it easy to say yes to, they make it hard to say no to, and they make it the customer's idea every single time. Think about this. If you can make it easy for your customer to say yes to, will they say yes? Yes. If you can make it hard for them to say no to, will it be really hard for them to say no? Yes. And then make it their idea every single time. Okay, so what would be a good word track to use? I'm gonna give you the word track that I used when I sold. And by the way, instead of me giving it, why don't we test out one of my coaches? You guys wanna put my guys? I need to talk to my wife. Absolutely, guys. The first thing you wanna do, obviously, with an objection, is agree with your customer. Listen, if you got all the way down, 
to them. And so guess what? If you immediately start building friction with them, you just lost all the rapport that you spent that whole entire time getting with them. So the way that I like to overcome this objective is listen. Hey, I totally understand. As busy as life is for most people, when it comes to purchasing a vehicle, especially with the family, it's generally a great event. When you left your driver this morning, I'm almost certain you and your wife had a conversation on what the deal needs to look like in order for you to feel completely comfortable making a decision. You said you love the vehicle, that you would be extremely happy with the safety of the fuel economy and to move up within your budget. So let me ask you this. If I can save your wife the trouble of having to come all the way down to the dealership, plus save the time we have to sit through the entire process, and you can be the hero of that was such a wife. That word track, how I learn, because I have ADD, okay? Well, like a lot of you guys probably got it. A lot of things are going on. You're moving really fast at all times. Well, guess what? It's good for me. Like the happy birthday song, you guys memorize how to say it, right? If I am pushing you and I'm pushing, I'm like, say the ABCs, say it. You're like, A, B, C, D, E. You're just going, right? Like you don't, you can be in any state and you're gonna chime it out, am I right? That's the way I need you to understand about learning these word tracks, okay? How do you learn a word track? One sentence at a time. I'm gonna explain this to you, okay? Because I want you guys to really learn today. When you're looking at this, you're like, oh, that's a lot, man. That's a lot. No, it's not. It's five sentences. It's five, let's dumb it down. Take it away from a paragraph. Let's break it down where we can learn it. It's five sentences. If you can learn all five of the sentences, guess what? You got it. You start with learning the first one. Once you get it down, once you get the first sentence down, then you learn the second one, and then the third, and then the fourth, and now you got what he just did. Here's, he ain't sold a car in a year. He works for me. Bottom line is, does he still know the training? Hell yeah, he does. Does he still know the absolute belief he's gotta have while he's speaking it? Yes, so I'm proud of him for that, and that stuff, he's a product of the product. He learned the training, and by the way, the fact that he can learn it, he's 21 years old. He doesn't study it every day. He studied it every day when he was selling. You know what happens? He memorized it, it never goes away. You know your date of birth, you know your social security number, you it. You never have to think about it again. It's there for life.